YouTube, it's your girl on the ground 09 coming to you guys today with another video. Um, I'm just coming on to say happy Juneteenth. Um, I'm glad that it's some corporations that are now recognizing this as a federal holiday, which it already should have been, and then they're make they're allowing their uh, workers, you know, don't have to, you know have to work. Just like we celebrate the Fourth of July, and that's a federal holiday, and you know you don't have to work. That's the same way that they're starting to acknowledge Juneteenth, and you know, and, and I, it's not really sad to say because this isn't something that they taught us in high school or in history, and of course, a lot of us do not take the time to research our history but you know some people didn't know about it and it was one of my um no, i ain't gonna say that i ain't gonna say that <laughs> honey i had to catch that thought and snatch it back i had to snatch it back but yeah i just want to say happy juneteenth and uh look i'm wearing my little my little get up my little garb or whatnot my sister made my shirt you know whole oh, child i got to cover up these little Ooh, baby, Corona and I put up a couple of pounds on me, honey. But yeah, <laughs> I am headed to work. I would have went live, but y'all, I when I say I'm running behind, and y'all know I'm normally not at work this early, but it was on me. Um, I had to come in early because I told some I, two people were booked at the same time, and I don't like that. Cause I don't want nobody waiting for no hour for me to do their hair so I had to move one of them up an hour so they wouldn't be there at the same time but yeah I'm just had to work I really don't have nothing else to, to you know to expound upon but I hope you guys have a great day for those of you that will be celebrating I know they're talking about having a block party here which is crazy to me considering there's still a whole pandemic out there and I guarantee you they're not going to be able to drink their liquor through a mask. <laughs> you know, somebody need to make a mask. Well, I guess that wouldn't make sense. But if the mask had like a hole, a latch, like you can un, like a Velcro on this side and you just take it and it's like a little hole there for you to put a straw through, that would be so funny. <laughs> I'm going to ask my sister if she can make a mask like that with a little, with a little flap that you can Velcro. <laughs> So that way you don't have to take your whole mask off when you want to drink. Because I know some of my clients, they come in there and they want to drink. And they have to pull their mask down in order to drink. And so, you know, I, I'm kind of apprehensive about that when they're sitting in my chair. Now, they go to the dryer. They're over there by themselves. So, I'm okay with that. But, oh, Lord, bless these people on this corner that's begging for money, Lord. Provide them with whatever they need, Lord, because they walking all in the road and the traffic is heavy, Lord. Whatever they need, Lord, give it to them right now. Lord, this man is about to walk up to my car in the name of Jesus, Lord. I can't do it. Have a good day. Have a blessing. Have a, have a good day. Oh, Lord, help them, Jesus. Whew, that's so dangerous, y'all. It's not even funny. These people, it's, it's been homeless people have been killed in the, on this same corner. It's like at least once a month, and there's nothing that you can do. At one point in time, we did have an ordinance where you couldn't panhandle at the intersections, but, you know, you get enough people that go and complain about something, then they change it. So now it's nothing, and it's a four-way, it's a busy intersection. And it's four ways, and it's always... And they're in the middle of the road, in the median. It's, they're not standing on the corners no more. They're in, they're in the medians. And so, you know, they're walking out to different cars to get money from the from the people in the cars, and other cars not paying attention. And and you know, when they turn around to go back, they've been hit. They've been hit and killed. And it's like it's disheartening to see. But I don't know. He uh, he was holding up something wanted me to I, I mean I couldn't see what was on the card but I'm a woman I'm by myself right now thank God I just dropped my kids off but I'm, I I can't let no one down for no for, for nobody wanting no I can't do that I seen that happen before um there were well apparently it was a setup but the lady let the window down the homeless man walked up to her window 
like asking for stuff and she let the window down and he stabbed her to death. I think about all that stuff. Like, yeah, you be, you want to give or whatnot, but he walked up to this window. Maybe if he would have walked up to the other window where he couldn't really, I could have just let it down a little bit, but he literally like was breathing on my window and yeah. So Lord, I just hope that man, man, man. Lord, I thank you. Y'all, we don't know how easy, and I say easy because I know standing out there on the side of the road begging for money is hard to do. Some people do it because they really, that's what they want to do. I have seen people that they just, they, they want to beg because they said it's, it's easier than them getting a job. You know, and we have a place here. It used to be, um, a prison and they turned it into a homeless camp you know so they get bus passes and all different kind of stuff and food stamps and you know so some of them said they found it easier to even just go stay out there as opposed to living in an apartment where they have to pay bills but you know everybody goes through something and I know it's, it's kind of hard to just the pride, especially for a man. And then I think it's sad when it be a lot of our military people that can't get help, you know? And the thing with the military, that they, they always say, my sister said, you know, they say, hurry up and wait. <laughs> so they rushing you to turn in whatever it is you need to turn in, if you have it to turn in, but then they tell you to wait. Now you gotta wait for them before they can do anything for you. After you done went over there, most people done fought in the war and everything else came back with PTSD and all other kind of stuff, but then there's no way that they're getting help. And it's sad. But I know my dad, he's a he's a uh, big advocate because he was in the military, so he's worked with uh, in HR, doing different things. So I know he's got a lot of people they're, they're just due from the military and back pay and everything else like that. <sighs> that just put a little damper on my spirit. Lord, I just whew, do it for him, Jesus. But I'll talk to you guys later. I'm about to turn into the salon. Um, I love you guys with the love of God, and there is nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Bye, y'all.